Attending a performance by a truly talented vocalist, musician or dancer can bring an incredible sense of happiness. And I experienced this myself when I attended the Festival of India in South Africa recently. Four eminent music and dance troupes traveled from India to perform at the festival. And here are some of the highlights of the Cape Town leg of their tour. The mother city has links with India that predate the founding of Durban or Johannesburg and it was fitting that Cape Town was one of the major South African centres in which the Festival of India was held. In celebration of the rich diversity and versatility of India, cultural troops are touring the country as part of the Festival of India in South Africa event. I'm looking forward to meeting up with the performers before the show starts. This year's festival celebrated the 150th anniversary of the birth of the Mahatma. As India's Consul General in Cape Town, Sri Abhishek Shukla explained. What is the intention behind the Festival of India in South Africa? This year, India and the world over, we are celebrating Gandhi at 150. So this in a way is a unique way to pay tribute to the colossus of a man in Mahatma Gandhi. And we have the top of the class uh, troops and artists from India who have come to perform here. <laughs> The program included a Bharatanatyam dance drama based on the life of Gandhiji and the director Srimati Revati Ramachandran offered some insights. Shanti Sutra pays tribute to two visionaries of India. There are five aspects which we deal with in Shanti Sutra. The first that we start on is the Khadi movement of Mahatma Gandhi. Next we talk about is Naithalim or the education point of view where skill education was thought of to be very primarily important. And then we move on to Ahimsa. Muni Devi also brought about abolishment of the cruelty towards animals act in the parliament. And then we talk about Sarva Dharma Samabhava where all religions are looked upon to reach the same goal. And then we finish off with Prakriti, how Mahatma Gandhi spoke of not encouraging consumerism, but encouraging the younger generation to contribute to the nation. He thought that the world is not a gift from your forefathers, but it's a loan which you have to give to your younger generation. And so he said you have to conserve it. The Sufi rock group Indy Roots presented a contemporary take on Indian music, featuring vocalist Shreyas Joshi and his brother Abbas. How would you describe the music that you make? The music is pretty much global in approach as we've got the Western influence in the arrangement part of it and the music is Indian. Plus we try to keep the music young as we would like to introduce our traditional music to our youth and uh, to all the Indians, the young Indians who are away from India so that they also get connected with their roots. I thought the performers were extraordinary. It's an awesome way to celebrate Gandhi's 150 years here as well. It's quite exciting, um, you know, them missing about the old songs and then having the lively jam to it, I'm quite enjoying it. The rich diversity of Indian dance and music is of great pride to us all. Tonight's showcase is further proof of how important the arts are in bringing together people from all walks of life.